I was in Eureka and I was thinking about the Tacoma, Seattle area, I had thought that this area here had become kind of stuck up. But it wasn't the people in general, it was the gay bar scene in these areas. Kind of silly for me to think of the whole area based off of these few places. What do they call it? The Seattle Freeze. Um, a lot of people feel that way who live in these areas about the gay, the gay nightlife scene here. So I'm not alone in this. Um, you know, these are these are the areas where I would hear people saying that uh, they don't trust gay men that aren't aren't at least a little bit feminine and that. Uh, <laughs> We're self-loathing if, we, if we're not a little feminine and all that stuff, you know? So, there are so many really awesome places to go for nightlife, for bars and such in these areas that are gay-friendly, that are mixed. Plenty of really cool places. Heck, there's even there's the mix in Tacoma. I enjoy that place a lot. I, I get treated really well there. You know, it's cool. I think of one of my very favorite places is uh, Blue Moon Tavern in the U District in Seattle. It's kind of a hippie bar. Back in the 90s, they would they played a shit ton of, of Grateful Dead, and they had a lot of posters, and 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 they they play, they play they have live bands come in. Um, it has the atmosphere I've always liked. You know, I love that place. Um, there's so many cool places to go. Why would I limit myself to just gay bars? That's stupid. So, yeah, uh, and then this, this upcoming week, I have a number of friends I'm going to be visiting with. On Tuesday, I have dinner with a couple friends. Uh, uh, it's, it's just cool, man. It's cool. I need to put this negative shit behind me and just move on, you know?